I don't use drugs. I never really have gotten into marijuana. I, I have no interest. But I took psychedelics, mm -hmm. and I'm proud to say that I wouldn't write the way I write. I wouldn't think the way I think. Likewise. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have understood the nature of cultural relativism as an anthropologist. I wouldn't treat women the way I do. Our parents used to say, don't take these things, you'll never come back the same. That was the whole bloody point. Point. Right? <laughs> to evolve. And so, so, so I, I think that the, one of the very positive things going on today is a very judicious and cautious, it feels cautious, um, revitalization of the use of psychedelics. And finally, the recognition that these substances can be legitimate tools um, it, for clinical use in certain cases and for you know exactly. research. So, so I mean, I, all this stuff is is moving ahead. It's just it's not going to be smooth because the the changes that we're endorsing are profoundly unsettling to those not prepared to recognize and the the fact that the genie's out of the bottle ain't going back and the tsunami of social change and transformation and spiritual growth and reinvention of our entire sense of ourselves on the planet, it's rolling forward and, you know, get out of the way if you're not prepared because it'll drown you if you're not prepared to float upon it. Yeah.